obviously with getting up early, the flight, a little bit on the bus, okay, the challenge now is to lock in and do what we need to do here. Okay, we only get 75 minutes for the ball, we'll be able to lock right into what we're doing? Yeah. Okay, so we need lines on the floor. It's a beautiful day here. I mean, I think we're all expecting colder coming from Michigan, so it's beautiful. The sun is shining. Everyone's in great spirit. We're so excited for the opportunity to be here, and I think we got after it. Our energy was really good. Um, our tempo was, was fast, and you know the ball was moving, but it, it didn't stop us from staying sharp. I think we're ready to go. Perfect. I'm just awkward. I stand there and smile. Three, two, one. Okay, stay. Okay. Unreal. Unreal view. <laughs> One of the hardest things to earn in life is respect because it takes continual day in, day out, high level characteristics that are represented all the time. Well, today's the day they put respect on the name. Michigan State Soccer makes that loud and clear on the national scene, what we're here to do, and that we're only getting started. Let's go. First ever meeting between Harvard and Michigan State in this 2023 NCAA tournament. MSU under head coach Jeff Hosler making back-to-back -back tournament appearances for the first time in 14 years. Sergeant knocked down at the edge of the area. And the point is to the spot. It'll be a PK in the 50th. Justina Gaynor will walk Justina to the dot. Gaynor. Karpenko dances on her line. Justina Gaynor to take the penalty kick for Michigan State. Gaynor run up, and just inside the left post, Karpenko got a touch. It's Michigan State one, and Harvard no score in the 50th. History beckons with every passing second for Jeff Hostler's side. And the Spartans will advance to the third round of the NCAA Women's Soccer Tournament for the first time in program history. Making it to Sweet 16, like a lot of us have never done that before, and so we're just really grateful and we're going to keep pushing, but hopefully we're not done yet. Going to the third round for the first time ever. One team! Since we only have one day of recovery time, basically, we need to get our minds right and bodies right for tomorrow. Just getting prepared, staying together as a team, you know, enjoying each other's company, being together. We do this every day, after every practice, after every game, everything. We do um, the foam roll and then we'll do a band. We have to. Recovery is the most important part, especially with the one day turnaround, where normally we have to. Compression therapy usually where at least for like 30 minutes and there's certain zones that you can hit so if you're sore more down here you can hit it down there if your thighs are sore it helps that better too. Our finish line is still far up in front of us. For making history yesterday getting to the Sweet 16 is a great marker for this program. It's a tribute to you and what you'll be able to do this season and make your own legacy uh, in what's going to be a long book of Michigan State women's soccer, but this is not the finish line for us. There is an incredible opportunity. There are thousands and thousands of players that play Division I college soccer and never make the NCAA tournament. It's an incredible opportunity that you have when you're in this stage because you may not get another one. Whatever team is most prepared is going to execute better. Regardless of ability, regardless of physical athleticism, the team that's more prepared is going to be the one that's going to be able to respond much faster. Is everybody ready? Okay. The first game of the third round of the NCAA Division I Women's Soccer Championship being played tonight on the campus of BYU. The round of 16 kicks off as the Spartans get set 
for this Wasatch Mountain matchup with the perennial powerhouse from Provo. They're the ones supposed to win this game. In fact, we just had the cop tell us they're playing here next week. They're not the top team in the country. It's sitting right here in this locker room. And the only way that you can prove that is go out and play your soccer. Play the way you're capable of, do it together as a group, do it as an entire unit, all connected from the sideline to the field, from player to player. Play the game that you've been playing since you were a little kid with that same free spirit and play it as hard as you possibly can tonight. Nothing gets left on the field because I can tell you the worst thing in it is having regret. If you have it, what are you saving for? Yeah? Pour it all out there tonight. Yeah, let's go. That's what I'm saying. Let's show every single person here what we can do the Spartans playing very well, so impressed with their last game and win against Harvard. It's a team that likes to play through the midfield and has exceptional talent up top in the forward line. Now Michigan State has no problem just trying to get to the end line, trying to go right down the gut. Again, they play a very vertical style of soccer, something that BYU doesn't see too often, especially in the Big 12. That'll take us to the halftime horn, 0-0 is our score. The shots are now 12-7 in BYU's favor, 3-2 on frame. Rebounds to the top of the 18. Mueller trying to give herself a look, plays it toward frame and finds the back of the net and the Spartans draw first blood. You could just feel the energy here at Southfield just immediately deflate. So BYU with wow. a chance to equalize. Mozingo, bingo, 1-1. Michigan State Spartans, their season has ended, but didn't come without a fight. Some opportunities towards the end, and again, you mentioned this earlier, Greg, Spartans had a great season, definitely have a lot to be proud of. Postseason soccer is a fragile thing, so, um, you know, you, look, you give a team like BYU that many, that many chances, they're gonna find ways to capitalize as they did tonight. I think that's really impressive by our whole group is coming into this match. Uh, the magnitude of the match, this is uncharted territory for our program, for all the players on our roster. Uh, to play the way we did Thursday, turn that around on short notice, uh, be able to do it again tonight in front of this incredible crowd. Um, I, th I think we grew a lot as a program today. Come on. Hell of a run, Spartans. Hey, on the map. On the map. Only up. Let's go. Good job today, ladies. Team on one. One team! team.